so I have no complaints so far with this uh, Tesla Model 3 um, and with all the software and everything like that I mean everything seems to be working great the only one thing I will say is uh, the little town that I live in it's not so little but it used to be little um, is that I'm on a little residential street as you can see here it's a uh, 50 kilometers an hour if it's not posted in Ontario if you, there's no uh, speed limits posted it's um, assumed to be a 50 kilometer hour zone which this is but if you look down here the maps or autopilot or Tesla I don't know where it goes through thinks it's 70 kilometers an hour if I was to do look there's a, someone biking here in a bike lane some kid just crossed the road if I was to go on autopilot and do 70 that would not be good so it's a little off and there's another uh, road that's a parkway it's called parkway it's called james snow parkway in milton it is a 70 kilometer hour zone and it's the opposite it says um on on the thing here that it's 50. see i just turned and it went down to 50. i'm on a different street now and as you can see there's a street sign 50. so this is accurate but um like i was saying james snow parkway it is a 70 kilometer hour zone and it says here 50. so they don't have all the speed limits um, accurate. I'm sure as software updates go on in the map, data continues to improve, that'll get better. Okay, okay, I know you're not supposed to use autopilot uh, on surface streets. It's more for interstates and freeways and highways and stuff like that. But here's an interesting thing. We have one yellow line. We have no line on this side. It's just the curb, but autopilot and uh, the camera seem to think, I mean, it's showing that a lot, but it seems to think uh, or is detected that this ditch or the end of the roadway there is a line. So it knows that and it's um, doing a pretty good job as you can see here. It obviously it picks up the yellow line, but um, you know what? Pretty impressed with autopilot. Keeping in mind, it's beta. But how you shouldn't trust it fully. We're going down a 50 kilometer hour zone. I'm going to engage autopilot. It's not allowing me to. Okay, now it's on. But the car is slowing down. It's going. It's a construction zone. So it's going. But now some cars are merging. And it's going to slow down. Up here is construction of a new roundabout. And last time I came through here and I tried it out, I didn't film it, but it didn't do it too hot. So let's see how it does it. My hands are on the wheel, my hands are on the, my foot, my foot's on the brake just in case. And it's slowing down. It's turning, it's turning. Oh, no, see, it was almost gonna hit the curb there. So I had to take control. So as you can see, it's good, but it's not perfect yet. And uh, I'd say probably 75, 80% there. And we just have to keep um, paying attention and keep our eyes on, on, on the road and hands on the wheel like, like autopilot asks us to do all the time. Okay, folks, we're at a red light here and uh, we're in autopilot and the maximum speed on this road is 60 kilometers. But uh, the autopilot max speed let me set it for 15 over. It was only doing 10 over on most city streets. I've only seen this once in a while. Let's see if it'll actually let it go to 75. On the highway, yeah, you can set it for more than 10 kilometers over, but on the city streets, it was just doing 75. So, sorry, just 10 over. No, it's going to 75. Let me see if I can go up to 80. Yeah, I can go to 80. That is odd. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. If anybody knows why it does that in the comments below, shoot me a comment and uh, let me know, because I'm a little perplexed. It's 60. There's been numerous 60 kilometer hour streets I've been on where I can only do 70 at the most. Let's see if I pump it up to 85. Yeah, it'll go to 85. What some listeners and viewers wanted to see was uh, how autopilot works in the rain or if there's any uh, rain fade or any problem with the rain and uh, autopilot. Well, this is raining pretty good. And we're in autopilot, as you can see. It sees all the lines in the road as you can see here and uh, as you can see outside it is raining quite heavily does it see it yeah it's turning turning the corners it's complaining to me to hold the wheel i am holding it it's just a little sensitive now we're on the highway we're going to engage autopilot here 
it is engaged. Do it for 100 kilometers an hour, which the speed limit is. As you can see, it's raining. So let's see how autopilot works in the rain on the freeway, or what we call a highway here in Canada. Hands on the steering wheel just to be safe. There's a large truck right beside us, as you can see. But I, but autopilot is working like a charm. It doesn't know the lanes. Oh, there it picked it up there. I'm wondering if the cameras get wet, not wet, but if the water on the windshield where the camera is, which would be right up here, uh, until the wipers wipe it, if for that split second it uh, gets interfered with, with the readings and stuff like that. But you know what? It's doing a great job. It knows the distance between um, the blue truck and, uh, and myself, and it's keeping a consistent speed and a con consistent distance, just as, it, as if it was dry roads. Uh, the rain is let, letting up a little bit, but the roads are still wet. So you know what? I think autopilot works just as well in the rain as it would if it wasn't raining. There is no rain fade or rain interruption like how satellites work. Uh, not that I thought there was, but just in case people were wondering and people were asking in the comments below. If you've got a comment below or you got a question about uh, autopilot, Leave it in the comments below, and uh, I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. Until then, in the meantime, we will see you later.